If you guys haven't been living under a rock, you probably have heard a lot about Andrew Tate. And whether you like him or not, the guy is something to talk about and he's recently just been released from jail and put on house arrest. But with that being said, he still has the ability to interact with the internet and has released his newest version of Hustlers University called The Real World that consists of various methods to achieve financial success through his top wealth creation methods. So in this video, I wanted to try his new program and follow it to an absolute T to see if I can and make some money and buy a Bugatti as he preaches. Well, what color is your Bugatti? You guys are gonna find out how legit this program is and I ran it for a full seven days. Also, I literally just got off the plane two hours ago. I was in Hawaii for the month where I did perform these tests. That's why I'm really dark. But the cool thing is that any of these wealth creation methods can be started from anywhere simply with Wi-Fi. Also, another thing, what I'm gonna be doing for this video is giving away the store that I have created for this video to one of you guys that likes the video, that subscribe, and lastly, that comments below a place that you guys want to travel to or simply something insightful. But let's waste no time and hop right into this video. All right, so the first thing I needed to give in and pay for Hustlers University to see what it's all about and get the information needed to start this experiment. I paid the $50 and right away got access to the platform encompassing all the content plus the Discord like channel. And from the start, you'll notice that there are eight wealth creation methods, which are copywriting, freelance, e-commerce, stocks, crypto, business mastery, fitness, and a UGC creator. And of course, since my entire channel is dedicated to e-commerce, we're gonna keep it consistent and follow through with this method. As soon as I purchased the real world, I began to consume as much content as I could to really get an idea of the way in which they teach the material. Also side note, the keyword is they, because Andrew Tate doesn't seem to be in any of the videos, which I can understand he outsources to various coaches that are experienced in this field. So after some time digging through the beginning stages of the modules, the professor first talks about the model itself, how it works, and ways to go about fulfilling products through various suppliers. And the main supplier they recommend is AliExpress, but since I'm looking to reduce my shipping times and just overall have a seamless integration process for importing products and automatically fulfilling orders, I'm going to be using AutoDS. Now onto the next part of the course, the code. Schwab, Schwab, I think that's how you say it. I don't know how you say it, but he talks about the winning product criteria and that the product must have wow factor, must be sold in stores, have a specific niche, and solve a problem along with being able to mark up three to five times. And as for the research, the course recommended me to use a tool called Minia, which actually is coincidental because I personally already use Minia as one of my main methods for finding potential winning products. So the tool shows you current winning products and you can also spy on their ads, see the products being sold and use advanced filters to find products within various niches. All right, so here we are on Minia and at the dashboard, if we go to the dashboard and we go into ad spy, how we can see between Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, and TikTok ads. If you guys wanna go ahead and search a specific niche or series of products, you can go ahead and do that. So I can go and type in pets, and that's gonna give us all types of Facebook ads specifically for pets. From there, we can see the Facebook ads and we can see any product based ad through this search method. Now, what I like to do, what I think is probably one of the easier methods is just going onto the Facebook ads, but not setting up these keyword filters and then looking at the weekly winner. So seeing what is actively doing well at the moment, we can also see best of the month, right? And just going and scrolling from here. I think it's always gonna be in your best interest to look at Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, and TikTok ads, not to solely confine yourself to one ad platform. So I'm scrolling and I'm seeing various Facebook ads from here. What we can also do is check out under business by and go to winning products. And this will give us a series of winning products for today, for the week, and say that I'm scrolling, what I can do is pick any product from here and go ahead and analyze it and get a better idea of the insights. So from here, we can see that these guys are running Pinterest ads. If I scroll down, I can see exactly where they are going about. They're targeting, their audience targeting. In the US and Canada, they're also doing a little bit of Australia and then France as well. And then we scroll down, we can see the estimated sales. So since the 14th of April, they've done $41,000, 1,000 units sold, and the average order value is $34. Right, so we can see Pinterest ads. And from here, we can see the entire ad library. So every active ad on Pinterest that this company is running. And so for us, this is great information because we can see 
what their winning creatives are, quote unquote winning creatives, where they're spending the money to get an idea to how we'd go about our ad strategy. Overall, I just think this is a great platform to have a clear cut strategy for when you're going into your product research. Now, everything is completely systemized. We have all the analytics here to determine whether or not any of these products are gonna be in our best interest to go ahead and test. So I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and check out this app and to try it out yourself. And after some digging, I was able to find a solid product to build my foundation around. The product I decided to go with was a sneaker cover for your shoes for the bottom portion specifically being sold by a company named Sneaker Soul. I think this product is super solid because of the fact that the people within this niche and community generally have money if they are purchasing high-end shoes. Not only that, it's a perishable product, so once it is in use, the person has to purchase again or purchase more than one item. This is where bundling comes in. And the margins are the following. The unit price for the protective sole is only 99 cents, and then the shipping is $3.16, and I did not go for the cheaper options because they did not not have tracking. Remember, always choose the tracking available option, even if it's a little bit more, because if someone files a dispute and you don't have that tracking number, you automatically lose any chargeback. Now that we have the product, we are ready to start the store creation process. The recommended platform was Shopify, which is great because I'm already so familiar with it. I've been using it for many years, but not only that, I am a dedicated Shopify partner and I can get you guys an exclusive link that offers Shopify for only a buck. On top of that, $50 in free app store credits. So you can simply go ahead and sign up at the link in my description to take advantage of this offer and save a whole $38 a month on your Shopify bill. Now, once we are in the dashboard, we're gonna be using AutoDS to easily import that desired product from AliExpress over to our Shopify store. And same thing, I'll provide links below to all the tools I use in the video. So any one of my videos can go ahead and press the link in the description. We're gonna go and find AutoDS right here and we're gonna get directed. We're just gonna put in our email for our store. All right, and we want to sell on Shopify. So we're gonna select Shopify. And then we have right here are the plans. I'm gonna go with the starter 500, it's the most popular. Kind of just contingent on how many orders or how many products we're gonna be importing. So I'm gonna go with starter 500. I'm gonna put in my credit card information. I'm gonna come back right after this. And here's the extended trial, as I said before. All right, so here we are onto the dashboard and we're gonna go ahead and add our store. Add store, add the app, and then we're gonna go ahead and link our store. We're gonna sign in and select our store. And then we're gonna go install app. Okay, and then we're gonna go in and add a product. We're gonna add our first product and we're gonna copy that AliExpress link that we have for our product, put it in there. We're gonna head over to products. We're gonna go into drafts and we're gonna select our product and then we're gonna import and then we're gonna head over to our products and here it is. So the great thing is that whenever we get an order, now that all the back end is linked up properly with SKUs uh, and fulfilled by AutoDS, whenever we do in fact get an order, we just gotta go and buy the credits on AutoDS fulfill from there and they're gonna take care of all the backend situations. We don't have to worry about sending over those tracking codes to the customer. It's gonna get fulfilled and once it is in the fulfilled status, that tracking code is gonna get sent over to the customer and they are going to be informed. We're gonna be good to go. From here, I took the rest of the day editing and fine tuning the website to ensure it was nicely structured and well optimized. And by day two, we can look at the store here. As you can see, it looks pretty good exactly what i wanted to focus on the main product as it is and the bundling options you can see here for mobile about 95 percent of our website traffic is going to be mobile so this is what i wanted to optimize it for don't want to convolute this area just keep it as it is and then also add some gifts just like that perfectly showcasing the product and i could have totally added a bunch of other products but i did not want to ruin the credibility of the website make it look all scammy drop ship like thing it looks pretty good this way the one pack is going to be 12.99 the two pack is going to be 22.99 and i'm going to be charging 39.99 for the four pack 
And as you can see, we are doing discount bundling. And by this time, I was already ready to start driving traffic to my store to get some sales. But before that, I needed a high quality video to display to my target audience. The course teacher actually suggested to either use a video ad company or Fiverr. So I went ahead and purchased a few UGC based videos from a Fiverr listing with good reviews and good ratings. It was recommended to get three to four different UGC videos for the product I plan to test. And that's exactly what I did. So after receiving three different videos from there, I was ready for the ads portion, which is arguably the hardest. Two ways the program teaches you how to acquire website visitors is to either go with organic traffic, the free way, or Facebook ads, TikTok ads, the paid way. I went ahead and used the paid traffic route as it helped me really expedite this whole experiment. Specifically, I was using Facebook ads. And the course advised me to run a $50 a day budget for two to three days. So that's one campaign, five ad sets, $10 per ad set, three to four solid UGC based creatives, and each ad set will be identical in terms of the targeting except the detailed targeting interest. I went ahead and targeted people that I thought would have a high interest in a product like this. The interests that I started with were Air Jordan, fashion accessories, sneakers, Supreme, and streetwear. And once again, I followed pretty much every step of the course. I didn't use too much of my own intuition. So now that all the foundation was set, I proceeded to activate my ads. And for the first day of testing, we managed to make $73.93 with $50 spent on Facebook ads and $14.43 spent on the cost of the physical product plus the shipping. Now remember for most e-commerce brands, the main costs are going to be the cost of the product or the unit sold and the advertising. And for example purposes, I did not count transaction fees and taxes since at this level, it's pretty minuscule. So overall, leaving us at a total net profit of $9.50 for the day. So the fact that it was only day one of testing with no data previously accumulated, and we were able to make enough to buy a Subway sandwich. At this point, I was like, okay, we might have a potential winning product on our hands. And because of that, into the second day of testing, I did not want to make any changes too early. So I left everything as it was until about 11 p.m. Right before I was going to bed, I changed the free shipping minimum from $100 to $50 to see if that would potentially incentivize people to buy more. On day four, officially the second day of testing, we managed to get only two sales, which resulted in $47.92 in revenue. So considering our daily spend was $50, it's obvious we ended up not doing so good. Cost of goods were $8.30, Facebook ads were $50, and the revenue was only $47.92. Now, oftentimes when you see a negative day, you might immediately want to make adjustments, but I wanted to let the ads ride out a bit more and give them more of a chance to spend. Once again, I did not make any changes going into the following day. Day four was a loss of $10.38. Now on to day five, things started to pick up a lot. I was able to get seven orders, which was the most I got from the start of running ads on the product. And two people actually ended up purchasing more than one protector, which helped me out quite a bit. The total revenue was $171.79. We spent $50 on ads and $33.01 on the cost of goods at an overall net profit of $88.78. That was a total $140 five sessions at a 4.83% conversion rate, which for industry standards is pretty solid of conversion rate. I think it's generally around 3% for Shopify stores. By this time, each ad set had spent equally $15. So I decided it would be a fair time to kill what was not performing and test some more interest. And on day six of this experiment, after killing the unprofitable ad sets and testing out new interest, I ended the day with four orders. In total $112.84 in revenue, I spent $50 on ads, which is the same amount because like I said earlier, the ad sets I killed, I replaced with new ones and the cost of goods was $20.56. The overall net profit was $42.28 which I thought was not that bad considering we really don't have much data accumulated since we're technically only in week one. Now to the very last day of testing this product using Andrew Tate's revamped Hustlers University, we ended up pretty much breaking even for the day with a total revenue of $60.94. We spent $50 on ads as well as $13.44 on the cost of goods. We ended up losing about $2.50. So entirely throughout this experiment, we did a total of four $467.42 in revenue and we spent $250 on Facebook ads. We sold 
31 units at an additional cost of $89.74 for the cost of goods. And in total, we were able to profit $127.68. Yeah, it's not a lot of money for the work that I put in, but it's simply the foundation. There are many parts to this model, and for testing this out for only a week, I be pretty interested to see how this product does after you work on it a bit more and more importantly accumulate a lot more data not to mention i didn't have enough time to order the product and film content or get someone to film and create edits for the sake of this fast-paced experiment now onto the consensus of andrew tate's course after going through the entire thing so to be honest i think the course itself actually has quite a bit of content just for e-commerce alone which is always a green flag but now do i think that the content is revolutionary and it's something that you want 100% need maybe not so much I think that personally all the content that is on there you can easily find on YouTube <laughs> on my channel but I do think that for $50 it's pretty good if you're looking for everything that's systemized and just there for you to access not only that e-commerce is only one of these seven or one of the eight wealth creation methods that he has. I can't lie, the user interface, once you're in there, is very intuitive and easy to get around. So at the end of the day, it's up to you. I'm just showing you what is capable. I was able to make a little bit of money, which is pretty nice. Thank you, Andrew Tate. So if you guys have tried out his course as well, feel free to comment below how it played out for you. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It supports me and encourages me to make more value-packed content just like this. See you guys in the next one. Peace.